What's up guys, out here in my front yard garden and we are really in some interesting circumstances now and I just want to take some time and really try to help you all um, grow some food with things you might even have at home. Um, you know, there's a lot of things that I see on the internet to regrow this and you know put this in water and I'm not always a huge supporter of that um, just because you don't really get a huge return on it you're better with a packet of seeds than trying to regrow lettuce for example um, but one thing that just grows from itself is a sprouted potato okay we've all seen these and uh, a lot of people think that means that potatoes gone bad you actually can still pick them off and eat them but what it's trying to do is actually reproduce okay and what you want to do with these guys this is a potato that I cut up yesterday uh, and you do want to let them scab over a little bit so I usually let them sit overnight even a couple days is fine uh, that just kind of protects them from bacteria or fungi in the soil that might kind of um, eat it up instead of actually pr producing the potato there but what I've done here is I've got a couple pots uh, five gallon ones from the nursery and funny enough this was actually kind of uh, broken but I got a really cool idea with it so what I've done is I put about six inches of soil in the bottom here and then I've got this here to be able to pull away because the potatoes actually grow in the bottom here so you could uh, you could fill this up and then as your potatoes are growing actually harvest them as you need them um, the potato you want to just throw it in the in the soil here again about six inches of soil I would get the the best soil you can afford um, it does like a lot of nitrogen and a very rich soil and actually the potato as it grows up here you want to continue to add soil because the more soil you have grow um, on that potato the more potatoes it has a possibility of growing. Uh, potatoes are a nightshade vegetable, which means they are a warm weather crop. So if you're in a place that's gonna get a freeze, you could start these guys inside, put them outside when it's warmer out. Uh, but if you are gonna get a frost or a freeze, you could actually just bring those inside uh, and continue to grow food for yourself and your family. Um, if you guys have any questions about this, please drop them in the comments. Uh, other than that, you guys stay safe out there, keep your heads up, and sending lots of love. Talk to you.